So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So in this video, I will talk about J Mains 2021 August attempt. As you all know, the exam is going on. So, so here I will provide you the August 31st Shift 1 and Shift 2 analysis. As you all know, the both Shift examination is over now. So, so I am I here to provide you the analysis of this Shift and I have already provided Shift 1 and Shift 2 analysis of 26th and 27th August. You can check that video in the i button as well as in the description box also. You will get the link. And and here I will provide most, most important thing that is the category wise expected cutoff marks for JE advanced examination whether you will able to clear the cutoff or not uh, based on your expected marks so I will provide you category wise for general EWS, OBC, SC, ST all type of category and most importantly I will also provide you the marks versus expected percentile in yeah. my each shift uh, analysis video you will get marks the marks versus expected percentile yeah, for, for that, that shift especially because after the examination a student wants to know will be my percentile based on the expected marks that I am expecting from the exam so i will provide you that also that is shift wise shift one and shift two separately and i will talk about the safe score and also i will talk about the subject wise difficulty level so that you can analyze how how much difficult was the paper for shift one and shift two so if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update about j mains and j advance in later days also and uh, if you want to check pre previous shift analysis you can check in the i button as well as the description box so let's start this video uh, so here is the 31st august shift one analysis so, so paper was un uniformly distributed because uh, there was question from each and every topic almost uh, there was uh, there was very less topic from which uh, there, are, there was so no questions question. asked but almost every topic have a question so if your uh, if your script is next or you are targeting next year JE you should consider all the topic whatever you can prepare so now if you talk about math especially it was moderate and lengthy as uh, as expected because in previous shift also math was moderate but uh, it is calculated uh -huh. some question was time taking so it, it is considered to be lengthy and now if you talk about uh, number of easy question we are 9 number of moderate question we are 13 and hard question we are 8 and the topic from which the question we are asked uh, calculus more number of question we are asked 3d vector and matrices determinant these are the topic from, from which multiple question we are asked in the exam so if your exam is next you can revise this uh, this topic in details so next is physics was moderate again and uh, if you talk about number of easy question was 8, moderate 14, hard for 8 no, okay. and once again modern physics have the highest weightage that is around 5 to 6 question we are asked from modern physics in each shift modern physics is very important so whether you are targeting the next shift or you are targeting the next year uh, you should prepare the modern physics in detail because it will give you 5 to 6 easy question uh, and the question we are asked from alternating current, semiconductor, electromagnetic wave also so these are the topic from which the question we are asked so now if you talk about chemistry it was easiest among all the three subject as expected and it was more ncrt based especially for inorganic chemistry all the question we are, uh, we are from ncrt so, so try to revise from ncrt it will help you to solve the question related to inorganic chemistry so now if you talk about easy question we are 12 moderate 13 hard question we are only 5 and it was from organic biomolecule and polymer and, and the last two chapter that is one from 11 and one from class 12 so these are the chapter you should look uh, for if your shift is next so this is the analysis of the 31st august shift one so now if you talk about the overall difficulty level of the paper was again moderate so there is similarity between the difficulty level of all the shift that has had that has been happened till now 26 shift one shift two 27 shift one shift two there was slightly variation uh, variation in the difficulty level so, so there will be effect of that in the marks versus percentile also that i will talk later in this video so now if you talk about august 31st ship 2 analysis so here is the information it so is similar to ship 1 but a little bit tough because there is some reason for that that i will talk later in this video so math was moderate to difficult and lengthy because some student find uh, the some question from mathematics was difficult and also lengthy and uh, easy question we are 7 moderate 13 hard 10 and the question we are asked from 3d vector conic section matrix determinant those are the topic which have the multiple number of questions uh, Physics was moderate and tricky because there was some question, uh, some question that uh, that was tricky to solve. Uh, so now, if you talk about easy question, where eight, moderate fifteen, hard seven. So modern physics was having the more number of question again, and heat thermodynamics also have the question, and semiconductor again having the question, and from logic gates also. So these are the topic that you can look uh, for uh, for the next shift also. Now, if you talk about chemistry, it was again uh, again easy, but some question we are moderate uh, so the chemistry was uh, chemistry this time was easy to moderate not completely easy so if you talk about easy question we are 12 moderate uh, hard was 5 and it was from organic biomolecule polymer p block s block and so these are the topic you can look for the next shift or next year also if you are targeting the next year g so now if you talk about the overall difficulty it was again moderate but 
little bit tougher than the first shift exam so till now there was uh, there is six shift happened so in, in my next video i will provide your detailed analysis which shift was the hardest which shift was the easiest so in my next video i will try to provide you that different students have different type of mindset it is not like i said that shift 2 is uh, tougher than it will be tougher because, because it differ a student to a student some student find it easy some of some student find it difficult so don't worry for this type of thing if i said that doesn't mean you will get the less percentile it depends on the number of a student and which type of a student have appeared in the examination so now i will talk about the expected cutoff marks for j advance so that is category wise so this is very important information try to listen it carefully and i will provide you for shift 1 and shift 2 both and uh, so for general if you appeared in shift 1 then you should have at least 116 plus marks to be to be eligible for the j advance examination and for shift 2 it is 113 plus as shift 2 is considered to be a little bit tougher from shift 1 I, I repeat it again if i am telling that shift 1 is uh, a slight easier and shift 2 was harder then it doesn't mean it is uh, there is a lot of difference and it might be vice versa also because i have got, i have got this information from the student so different student might have the different type of opinion so it all depend on the original examination you will get the percentile based, based on your score that, that you have a score so don't worry for this type of thing i am i am just providing you the information according to the student feedback so if you are from ews then you should have 86 plus marks for shift 1 and 83 plus for shift 2 And for OBC eighty eight plus eighty five plus for SIP one SIP two for SC fifty five and fifty one plus and for ST it is forty five and forty two plus for SIP one and SIP two. So next I will talk about the most important thing that is marks versus percentile expected. So before going forward for this video, oh, I would like to tell you that marks versus percentile is not only depend on the difficulty level of the paper. It also depend on the fact that which type of a student appear in a particular sheet. Suppose if, uh, if all the student are very good and solve or uh, solve maximum number of question in the hard sheet also, then you might get the less percentile despite having the difficult paper also. So it is not only the uh, difficulty level of the paper but also the which type of a student. and appear in that see uh, try to understand it uh, so that you will not have any type of problem or tension uh, after you get the percentile uh, result so let's continue this video so here uh, is the marks versus percentile for shift 1 and shift 2 separately i will talk here so for 99 200 for shift 1 you have to score 265 plus marks and for shift 2 259 plus marks so now i will talk about only shift 1 you can check side wise for shift 2 also So for ninety nine point eight to ninety nine point nine, your marks should be two fifty three for shift one, and for ninety nine point six to ninety nine point eight, your marks should be two hundred forty four plus, and for ninety nine four to ninety nine point six, your marks should be two two thirty three plus, and for ninety nine to ninety nine point four, your marks should be two sixteen plus, and for ninety eight point five to ninety nine. Your marks should be two hundred six plus, and for ninety eight to ninety eight point five, your marks should be one ninety seven plus. And for ninety seven point five to ninety eight, your marks would be one hundred eighty six plus. And for ninety seven to ninety seven point five, your marks would be one seventy three plus. So here is some more data for marks versus percentile. You can check by pausing this video. I am not going to discuss all those things because video will be so long. So you can check by pausing this video. So this is all about the paper analysis of thirty first August SIP one and SIP two. I have provided all the all the thing that is subject wise difficulty level expected marks for the uh, expected marks for the J advance for each category SIP one and SIP two and most importantly the marks versus percentile that uh, that you are able to see on the screen. So thanks for watching this video. Please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update about J mains and J advance and next SIP. analysis also in this channel only so please try to subscribe and share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information